Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Dune Messiah by Frank Herbert. So, as usual, we're going to talk non-spoilery thoughts and opinions up front and then move over to spoilers where we can talk in more detail. So remember to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and let's begin. So Dune Messiah is the second book in the Dune series, but it's the third um, Dune book that I'm reading because I am also reading some of the more recently published stuff by um, Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. So Dune Messiah is way better than Paul of Dune. Like it is so much better. I actually like it better than Dune also, but for different reasons. It feels... To me, this book feels a little bit like the finishing product of Dune. I guess it's supposed to, but like it works so well as the epilogue slash rest of that book that like Frank almost could have just made it a lot bigger and just, you know, continued it. Like it's it, and Dune Messiah also is not very long, so it feels almost like an extended novella, I guess. But let's start with a quick little description of the story. So Dune Messiah picks up maybe 17 years or so after the events of Dune. And Paul is emperor and he's been doing his thing and the jihad has been going on. And at this point, I think the body count is something like 68 billion. Like it's insane. It is insane. Like the number of people that have died because of this jihad. And it's crazy to think that this is the better outcome. Like everything Paul has done is to like create the better outcome as compared to what he's seen through his prescience. So basically the entire story is we're following Paul as he's emperor, seeing some of the decisions that he's making. And there's some other stuff going on behind the scenes as usual. And I think the entire story really is um, Frank kind of playing with more ideas like how I called Dune, the original one, of course, called Dune philosophy disguised as sci-fi, but the ones more recently written are sci-fi trying to aspire to be philosophy. That's very much continued in the way that the story is kind of a different philosophy, I guess. It's also a philosophy about the idea of making a monarch like a god and like that kind of stuff and being careful who you follow and just the idea of untrustworthy power structures and things like that. The biggest thing that I noticed in this story was that um, Frank seems to want to show the limits of prescience. So like, pre like the everything, the impression, at least that I got from Dune, the idea of Paul being both a mentat and having this, you know, future sight prescience thing. Like I thought those two combined would make him such a formidable force that we have nothing to worry about. But th um, through the use of the spice, everybody gets a little bit of prescience, but like, you know, some other, um, some other groups of people will get more like the Bene Gesserit and the uh, spacing guilds and some other people, but like there are more oracles around and about than there were pretty much before, at least as you know, described. So these oracles cloud the vision that Paul and pretty much anybody else looking through prescience will see because they basically can't see each other. So the fact that there are more than there were means that there's more blank spots and like weird curves and like all that kind of stuff. So it feels like Frank wanted to play with this idea of checkmating somebody who can see the future and who's supposed to know every event that's happening. And I think it's done so well. It's really, really interesting the way it's carried out. And the entire idea of this like warning of be careful of monarchs and like making a man more than a man and like this cult of personality kind of thing and the way some of these power structures like in, in the way for Paul, it's kind of like it got away from him. He didn't, he realized that the religion that was of Moidi became more than him. So even him as emperor couldn't like stop it. Like it was beyond his power at that point. And even Aaliyah's religion is like beyond her. And like, she just wanted to be like a regular person and stuff. So it's really interesting the way Frank plays with all these ideas. And the writing continues to be really good, but it is that same kind of writing that's like a hard for a lot of people who couldn't really get through Dune. It's that, that, you know, very philosophy kind of way, almost talking around things and not very much explicit in the way it's trying to say stuff. It's, it's almost metaphorical writing, but I dig it because 
I am in a way like, you know, mentally prepped for it. So like, it's like, you know, you got to be like in a Dune mood. You got to be like in that kind of mindset. So it, it's easier to just process it all and see, or at least try to see what Frank is trying to do with this story. I definitely like this one more than Paul of Dune, but I think I like this one more than Dune also because the story is tighter. It's like, it's a lot shorter and it's more concise, I feel. And there's less set up i mean it's hard to like give that as a negative to the first book because we've obviously got to go into intro stuff and all that kind of stuff but with all that stuff out the way we get to just get right into it and i really like that a lot so i tend to like you know second books and series and you know middle books or middle books and trilogies middle movies and trilogies and all that same kind of thing but that's one of the reasons why I really like this one a lot more. And also the idea of care, be careful of power structures and cults of personality and things like that. And just this idea of something that you accidentally create or accidentally on purpose create like becomes greater than you and is completely out of your control and stuff. It really becomes apparent why this is like the bedrock of sci-fi, some of this. Like these ideas permeate through so much other sci-fi. Not just the stuff from Dune itself, but stuff that goes through these sequels. I bet even the next one probably has some stuff like that in it too. So I really like this book, as I already said, and I definitely recommend it. So let me know if you've read Dune Messiah in the comments. What was your favorite part? But if you're going to spoil something, please add spoiler tags down there so we don't ruin it for anyone that hasn't read it. And if you haven't read it, what about like this kind of sci-fi era, like these multi-planet civilizations? You Have you read any series that kind of do that same kind of thing? Let me know about those. If you got any other sci-fi type recommendations of that nature, let me know about those in the comments down below. So let's go ahead and jump over to spoilers so I can talk in more detail about the stuff I really liked and found interesting. So spoiler warning for Dune Messiah by Frank Herbert. So this idea of checkmating someone with prescience, I really like it a lot because the entire thing of it is, is like they're trying to kill Paul or at least get Paul out the way, you know, to overthrow his empire and stuff. And the way they go about it and um, is the way they go about it is to use these oracles and different methods of prescience to block his ability to see and stuff using a navigator and stuff. And, um, it makes it so that he can't really see everything that's going on until it's almost too late. But then when he does get the full vision of it, it becomes something they force a, they force a situation where Paul basically has to go with their plan in a situation that's almost suicide or do something that's much, much worse. In the same way that him taking over the Imperium and being the em Emperor and everything was the lesser of two evils, he basically was forced in a situation where him dying is the lesser of the two evils. So I thought that was like incredible because they also use the fact that they know Paul and they understand him and the fact that he will stay true to the course of his um, vision instead of going explicitly against it. I thought that idea was incredible. Like, I just really like that entire dynamic, the use of these conspiracies and stuff. Because as I said in the non-spoiler thought, I thought, uh, or <laughs> so as I said in the non-spoiler part, I thought someone with this future sight plus mentat, you know, mental, uh, men, you know, human computer capability, I thought that would make him so completely formidable and almost unstoppable. But there's other people who are, you know, on that same level, if not having it all contained in one person. So, like, they are out there and they were able to, like, stand up to him and deal with this and all this. And, like, checkmate him in this way. It didn't exactly work in the way they wanted to and stuff. Like, they wanted to use Duncan to basically assassinate him. But, like, it didn't work because him as a golem became himself again as Duncan, which was in both an incentive and a part of the plot. Because they were trying to basically bribe him because of all this other stuff that was going on with Cheney's death because of the kids and stuff. So I just I just thought the way it worked was so interesting for it to be so complex and still just be very understandable. And it's just I, I liked it so much. I just love it. Uh, it was so good. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Um, yeah, so I'm rambling now at this point. 
So I just found out that there is actually a Dune Messiah TV miniseries. I think Sci-Fi did it. And I'm definitely going to check that out. So let's go ahead and wrap up this review. As I already said, I really enjoyed this. It's my favorite Dune book so far. It was a lot shorter. I really enjoyed the writing style and the continued philosophy ideas that Frank has in here. And just the entire world of it. And like now that Paul is dead, or presumably dead, going off into the desert. I mean, I guess we're presuming he's dead. Because I know the series picks up and deals with the twins so i'm really excited to get to that that'll be children of doom which i'm definitely reading next so remember to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and i will talk to you all next time peace